All right, so um, there's been a bit of a uproar over the fact that uh, Kanye West and Pete Davidson got into a bit of a spat uh, through text messages. And I, when I originally saw the text messages, I was scrolling through Twitter. I was with a friend. We were hanging out. And I swear we laughed for five minutes straight because it was the most hilarious thing ever. Now, if, if you haven't been paying attention much to like pretty much any news source, um, you wouldn't know that uh, Kanye has been sort of going after Pete Davidson in this uh, weird attempt to, uh, as he claims it, get his fame life back. Uh, which led to Pete Davidson reaching out to Kanye and being like, hey, Kim doesn't de- deserve this. She's the best mother ever. This is um, this is bad. I won't let you do this anymore. Uh, he phrased it a little bit differently. Kanye didn't like that, said, oh, you're using profanity. Um, where, are you, where are you right now? Oh, I forgot to add in that Pete Davidson said that he had he wanted to meet up with Kanye and squash what squash beef, right? And people's like, oh, I'm in bed with your wife, and sent them a picture of him lying in a bed, right? So the conversation pretty much quickly devolved into a sort of just like a, I don't want to, oh, well, just like, hey, can we hang out? Can we talk this out? Oh, we'll come to Sunday service. Well, I, I'll be here. Can you hang out? Can we meet here? No, you got to come to Sunday service. Come to Sunday service. And he's like, hey. I don't want this to be like a big spectacle. And you know good and well, if he went to Sunday service, it would have been this big thing when they would have like talked on the stage for like an hour or something, right? Now, honestly, that would have given me like a bunch of insane clips to use and I would have made a video about it. But um, I, I, it, I feel like they should just uh, squash this in public. And private, I should say, not public, because they've already been in the public and nothing's getting squashed now. It's sort of, it's very unsquashed. Everything's still bad, still a big jumbled mess. Now, an interesting reaction I saw was from Playback. Now, all, all of their comments on the video have been mostly like, hey, we disagree. But they were like, what they were reacting to... Um, what Pete said and they were all like hey like who are you to say that like why would you say that that's wrong that's messed up like you're you're not her dad her dad is saying this about how to how he wants her and you know like he is about how he wants North in particular right but like at that same time he over and over like hundred like maybe instead of Pete he released Pete and puts um buries his core around his head Peace just be okay with that. He's just supposed to let it ride, right? And Kanye said so much crazy stuff about him. Even th- right, he posted like about um uh, he was Pete Davidson was like being accused of doing something crazy, some something like bonkers that you immediately could tell like no that's ridiculous, right? Who would ever believe that? At this point, it just feels like Kanye is just throwing everything at the wall that he can just to try to see what sticks. How can I bring this guy down? Instead of saying, hey, what's the best for my family that I've said so many times that I want back? What's the best for my kids who are going to have to grow up and see all this stuff? But he's like, no, I got to attack Pete Davidson. I got to attack Pete Davidson over and over and over again. And it, it just seems so so useless and so such a big waste of time all for nothing you you accomplish nothing and you made yourself look worse now it's been my personal thought that kanye thinks that he's sort of like he he feels this um feels that dads are like sort of uh how should i say this dads are sort of like mis uh misfortunate or oppressed i i'm not saying the right word that i'm looking for but they're sort of like downtrodden in the u.s legal system when it comes to divorce proceedings and he thinks that he can like change it all by like coming out and saying this and this and this but 
he's going about it completely the wrong way and he's just making himself look worse and he's just making things worse for his kids and his ex-wife and literally everyone involved nobody's a winner here but uh yeah that uh pretty much wraps up everything i think about it and uh like i said last time this will be my last kanye video unless he does something crazy i think this was crazy enough to warrant a video um but until next guy next time bye